with less than three weeks before Election Day and without the slightest public discussion or debate, the United States has launched a major military escalation in the Middle East. U.S.-backed forces have begun the long-planned siege of Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. As many as 1.5 million people, including 600,000 children, remain trapped in the city and it is widely acknowledged the bombing and urban fighting will lead to massive civilian casualties. The impending bloodbath in Mosul exposes the Obama administration's hypocritical concern about civilian deaths in Aleppo and its charges of Syrian and Russian war crimes. While the media is fixated on Donald Trump's sexual behavior, nothing is being said about Clinton's plans for a further U.S. military intervention in Syria and a confrontation with Russia. Whether Clinton or Trump wins the election, the American ruling class is determined to assert its domination over the oil-rich Middle East and the world, even if it means nuclear war with Russia and China. Adversaries think they can keep us out? I'm here to tell you they are absolutely wrong. We will amass effects from the air, from the sea, from the ground, from under the sea, and we will quite frankly pound the snot out of them from range and in the close fight. Millions of workers and youth are sick of the endless wars and the squandering of vast human and financial resources. But this opposition has to be mobilized and armed with a political program to unite the working class in the United States and around the world to put an end to the source of war, inequality and repression, the capitalist profit system. This is the aim of the November 5th conference in Detroit, Socialism versus Capitalism in War, organized by the Socialist Equality Party and the International Youth and Students for Social Equality. I urge you to attend this critical conference.